Hey guys, Vizzerlo here. So, in October of 2016, I made a video called How to Record Nintendo Switch Footage for Free. And that video, if you look at my channel, was wildly successful. And even to this day, I still get a lot of comments from that video, but... If I'm looking back, I do sort of cringe when I see that video because it was not that well made of a video. Back then, I was a lot younger and I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do on this channel, so I actually used to pitch shift my voice so people wouldn't, like, make fun of me for being young, I guess. And not only that, I don't feel like I described it in a way that a lot of people would have preferred, I guess. So, I thought... I might as well, considering how many people have been watching that, I might as well give them something actually decent to watch. If you want, I'll have the original video in the description, but without further ado, let's just talk about this and get this over with. Okay, so something that you should keep in mind while watching this is that this is a very tiring method, but I do recommend it over leaning your iPad against a toaster and recording your TV any day. So basically, um... Apparently, the doctors in the flu shot or vaccine, um, they've missed a flu, which is the one that everybody's getting. And so the idea behind the original video was that you use the Nintendo Switch capture button on the left Joy-Con. And now that there's a like Switch Lite and the new Nintendo Switch, you can still do this on all those models too, because it still has that capture button. So basically what you do is you open your selected game, and then every 30 seconds, you record, you or you just hold down that button, and it'll record the last 30 seconds. So the idea is that you record all your footage while you're recording a voiceover, and then you take all those clips, because you can now upload them to either Twitter or YouTube. Before in that old video, it used to be only Twitter, but now you can also put them on YouTube, so that's a better option in my opinion. So you put it up there, put it into an editing program, compile it all together, and if you optimize it well enough, it's a actually kind of decent, although time-consuming way, and also storage-consuming way, of making YouTube videos. Of course, the ideal solution is a capture card. That's even though it is expensive, usually, capture cards do give you just the highest of quality. So I would say, if you can, just look for a capture card. But if you really are stuck with only being able to use free methods, I do think that this is a good way to capture your footage. Now you may want to look at an SD card because now you may want to look at an SD card because this is going to take up a lot of storage. But I mean, to be honest, if you just delete the videos after, it should be okay. But still, I think for the price you're going to be paying for this, which should be next to zero, it's a decent way. Now, if you're watching this video, then I do really think that you should not do the whole toaster and iPad method as I call it which is just you take your phone or like a camera or I guess an iPad and you lean it against a stand or someone and you just record your TV because there's a lot of things that can go wrong with that there's usually glare and the lighting isn't ideal and it's hard to edit properly generally I would say for most people you want to try to aim for recording your own screen natively so on Xbox and PS4 a great way to do this also is to take your game, stream it to Twitch, and then just record it using your PC. Now, if you only have a phone and you want to make YouTube videos, then I can sort of see where you're coming from, as in you want to make YouTube videos, but I'm just saying it's highly, highly recommended, I'd say, to aim for something like this, or just something that allows you to properly record footage and edit it decently. Basically, you're going to need a computer for all of this, though. Making YouTube videos with your phone is not ideal at all, and I really do think that if you want to make something that's pretty high quality in general, not trying to take a shot at any of your videos, I think you should look at screen recording. In fact, on the old Xbox One, in fact on the Xbox One, you could maybe even plug in your Switch into the input port and then you could stream, so that's another method, you could just stream it to Twitch and then just capture it from there. So I guess that's more like food for thought, I guess. Now, I do need to mention this, though, for anyone who is considering this method. You do need to be careful, because on some games also, it does not allow you to actually capture like that. So, for example, when you are in Fortnite, as an example, you, can record, you can't actually record the last 30 seconds. It doesn't let you at all. 
It's only in certain games that you can actually do it. And as you can imagine, this makes everyone be like, wow, that's such an epic move. I thank you, game developer, for making me not able to record that because getting clips is really awesome sometimes and you can't get it in apps like that. But it's whatever, this method doesn't really work for that, so you're going to have to try another method and if you want, you could just do the toaster iPad thing. But for every other game, I do think that this is a decent workaround. Anyway though, I hope you did enjoy this video, and if you did, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments. If you are going to try this method, let me know also, because I want to see some footage of people doing it, because I own a capture card, so I don't know if i try this method for myself that often. I've tried it before. It works. But yeah, if you are going to do this, let me know in the comments. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and see you.